Dinosaurs are pretty wild, always interested me. You know what else has always piqued my interest? The idea that we all kind of accepted what dinosaurs sounded like, even though we actually have no idea. Someone just decided they sounded like <laughs> And everyone was like, yeah, okay, yeah, that sounds cool. But that's for another time. Today on Life's Biggest Questions, we're asking, did we find a new dinosaur? The Roaring Twenties are back, baby. 2020 brought us the pandemic, and 2021 is bringing us dinosaurs and aliens. What more could you ask for? Smash that like button, and let's get into it, folks. So when you think of a dinosaur, you likely think of a massive T-Rex, or maybe even a raptor from Jurassic Park. No one thinks of those slow things with the spikes on their backs from a land before time. It's a stegosaurus, by the way. And that's because we like the big, scary monstrosities. The stuff that nightmares are made of. We don't want no herbivores chewing on plants. No, no, no. We want the absolute viciousness. So let me introduce you to the monkey dactyl. Seriously, what an original name, eh? Not too scary, just a monkey and a pterodactyl together. But when you see what this thing looks like and hear what it was potentially capable of, well, that's a different story. The recent discovery was made in Liaoning, China, where paleontologists found what was determined to be a 160 million year old fossil of the monkey dactyl. Given that it's believed to have opposable thumbs, the scientific community is very interested in studying this thing more. As of now, they believe it was part of the pterodactyl family and had a wingspan of about 33 inches, of course, dependent on size. Fionn Weizam Ma from the University of Birmingham who worked on the study explained, I quote, this is an interesting discovery. It provides the earliest evidence of a true opposed thumb and it is from a pterosaur which wasn't known for having an opposed thumb. Using micro CT scans, the team was able to actually see through the rock and digitally create the dinosaur's limbs. Oh yeah, I love me some science, baby! In regards to how it lived, well, it's believed these bad boys were actually somewhat small, so it's believed they would chill in trees. However, some could actually get quite large. Given that they've been discovered recently, there's a lot of learning left to do. Now to answer our question, we didn't discover a new dinosaur, because technically, these are considered reptiles. That being said, it's still a pretty cool to discover a reptile that was hundreds of millions of years old. And they were definitely closely related to dinosaurs, so I mean, we're really just kind of splitting hairs here, folks. Although technically, no, it's not a dinosaur. Neither are pterodactyls, but a lot of people would consider them dinosaurs because, let's be real guys, they're dinosaurs. Going back to the monkey dactyl, these things are believed to have potentially hatched from eggs, and in regard to their diet, potentially found quiet spots to eat whatever was available without much competition from other dinosaurs. Or reptiles. Using their small hands and thumbs, they'd grab whatever they could and munch down. The University of Birmingham released an official statement with quotes from a handful of other research team members. Among these quotes included Rodrigo V. Pegues from Federal University of ABC in Sao Bernardo, Brazil. When speaking on the potential of the new discovery being birthed from eggs, Pegues explained, I quote, Darwinopterans are a group of pterosaurs from Jurassic of China and Europe named after Darwin due to their unique transitional anatomy that has revealed how evolution affected the anatomy of pterosaurs throughout time. On top of that, a particular Doethnoteran fossil has been preserved with two associated eggs revealing clues to pterosaur reproduction. They've always been considered precious fossils for these reasons, and it is impressive the new Darwinopteran species continue to surprise us. Now for me, the biggest takeaway from all that is that this scientist was not only excited, which is always a good thing, but mentioned that the species continues to surprise us. So really, who knows how much more we're going to learn about dinosaurs, or in this case, ancient reptiles as the years go on. Pretty exciting stuff to think about, guys. But with that being said, as previously mentioned, no, we technically didn't find ourselves a new dinosaur, because in technical terms, this thing is a reptile. But some people consider crocodiles dinosaurs because, I mean, look at them. They are, but I'm not here to argue that. Now, I'm not here to tear you guys apart, but I would love to see a discussion down below in the comments as to whether or not you'd consider something like the monkey dactyl or even a pterodactyl a dinosaur. I know technically they aren't, but let's be real guys, they are. Now, with all that being said, it seems just because a lot of people were sold that these things likely lived or climbed trees because of their opposable thumbs, it seems Kevin Padian, a paleontologist at UC Berkeley, disagrees. Although he wasn't involved directly with the studies, he wanted to chime in and give his two cents, explaining, I quote, The bottom line for me is that the specimen's articular surfaces are too poorly preserved to draw an interference of opposability. I think we would want more and better preserved examples of this species before jumping to conclusions. In an email to Gizmodo, he would go on to mention how raccoons and otters, for example, have the abilities to climb trees, but don't necessarily live in them. All in all, it just seems our boy here needs some more evidence before he sold on any claims, which is totally understandable. I mean, he's wrong, no, I'm joking. Great thing about the past is we're going to continue learning about it in the future. It's pretty wacky when you think of it that way, but who knows how many more fossils we'll find of this specific species within the next 5 or 10 years. And as we find more, we learn more, right guys? Science, baby! Let's, let's go! 
All right, guys, for now, let's do some common replies from the video. Why are we ignoring alien existence? Top Furret said, If life happened once here, there's absolutely no way it can't happen again with how big space is. Totally agree. All these planets, we don't know anything about anything. We think we're smarter than we are. We're not. We're very ignorant to the fact that there's so much out there that we don't know about. Crazy. I'm watching too much History Channel, guys. Like, it's really, the, the, the theories are getting to me. Heidi Smith said, with how big this universe is, I do believe there are aliens. I do too. Not necessarily like the aliens that you see in movies and TV shows. We have no idea what they look like. Maybe they look like us. Maybe they don't. Maybe their eyes are here and their mouths are up here. Who knows? Maybe they look like animals. We don't know. We don't know what they look like, but they exist somewhere out there. They exist. MD Hussein said, his mustache looks like Batman logo and his ears have 90 degree shapes. Now that's cool. I, you know what? When you commented that, I looked and I, I can't unsee it now. But as you can tell, I shaved. I got to film an audition now after I film all these videos. So that's why I had to shave. But my ears are still 90 degrees. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys. That's all for this one. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein. We'll see you guys soon.